All right, what's up, everybody? Doing an interview right now with Disciple from Sydney, Australia, right now. Um, what's up, man? Tell the people how you doing. I'm doing good, man. Yeah, so his image magazine, we're not staying in just the United States of America. We're going global. So I want y'all to definitely um, listen to this dude and, and hear his heart. Um, there's a lot going on in Sydney, Australia. The ministry is great, man. So tell me what you have going on. Well, yeah, the ministry is going good. I mean, God's doing some awesome stuff down here. Uh, the spirit is definitely moving. Um, there have been some trialing times at times because... Um, we really have to feel like we have to fight to really put the gospel out there, you know, especially with rap in Australia also. Um, it's not heavily endorsed like pop music or rock music. So a medium like hip hop is really something that we have to fight through. And having Christian content on top of that, you know, we have to really, um, you know, rely on God's grace to, to make an impact and the change because it's not something for the weak hearted. It's something that, you know, is, um, Something that we have to really push through in this sort of ministry. But overall, God's doing awesome things down here, man. Awesome. Great, great. Well, are there a lot of Christian hip-hop artists in Sydney? Um, yeah, actually, we're, we're growing uh, probably by the week. I didn't know there were so many of us. Uh, but I've just started to come out and see all these other artists. I've been doing my thing, you just, you know, in the background, touring churches every now and then. But it's only been this year I've seen and fellowshiped with a lot of other artists and I just see their heart and the heart's a lot like my heart. So we know that God is really speaking through all these other individuals. It's uh, it's favor, not finance. It's ministry, not industry. So, um, yeah, it's, it's growing more. And I hear there's many guys in Queensland, in, in Melbourne, in Perth and in even in Darwin as well that are really pushing through the word um, through the form of hip hop. Oh, well, that's great, man. What type of projects are you actually working on right now yourself? Uh, I'm working on a project called In Their Shoes. It's talking about all the characters and the events of what happened in the Bible. And I wanted to put a little twist of my own, not to diminish the Word of God, because the Word of God is infallible. No one can take away or add. But I wanted to make it relevant to our society today. So what I've done is I've got the scenes of maybe Jesus or Paul or Peter um samson delilah and i've made them in a way where young people today can understand them because one thing i'm finding with our youth is they think that the bible is outdated or irrelevant to what they're going through mm -hmm. so i want to make it really something that they can grasp onto and encourage them to have their own revelation through seeking god seeking his word and then by that you know they can minister to their age group and then so on and so forth you know the ripple effect have so you, that's what I've been doing. Have you already thought about how you're gonna do those different stories and how you're gonna make them relate to the to the to the youth? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've I've written out um about maybe forty or forty five concepts wow. of just different people who I relate to, and right now I'm just putting them through EPs and LPs at the moment. Um, I have an EP coming out in a couple of months. I have two EPs coming out in a couple of months, and then the third and fourth EP will come out near the end of the year and then the album will come out next year and they'll all talk about the different people i've thought them through i've prayed about them different beats different styles different singers coming on different rappers coming on as well to to bring in their shoes um and make it a, a reality so how long have you been doing christian rap music i started in 2005 i was about 15 years old um as soon as i got saved I started writing poetry and it started moving people. But when I turned uh, 18, I realized that it wasn't strictly a performing thing. It was a ministering tool. Mm -hmm. So I really had to uh, strip back the whole performing aspect, pleasing the crowd, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, doing all that other stuff that mainstream artists do. And I had to see myself as a minister, someone that has to look with the intent of blessing that one person that needs help, mm -hmm. one person that needs hope. One person that desperately needs that breakthrough. Instead of preaching to the ones who are saved, I like to preach to the ones who seem like they have no hope. Mm -hmm. Because in that, those are the people that we should be looking for. Not the healthiest, the sick. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it took me a while to realize that. I was young back then. I'm 21 now, so I've grown a lot through ministry. Um, all first-hand stuff. I had no mentors in music, so I learned everything first-hand. 
and yeah. I've really adapted to this nature of being a minister, you know, and, and really helping people, you know, sitting down with people in the streets, talking with homeless, talking with even prostitutes. I've had a couple of encounters and really sharing the love of God to them, not to the ones who are in church, churched already, because I, I, it's not, like, it's not that I don't see the point in that, yeah. but I think there's more of a fulfillment when you go to someone who is lost, someone who's deviated from church, and you bring them back to the light. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, most, most deaf, you know. I, I think, of course, we still need to build the body um, because Definitely. the body gets weak in certain times, but it is that really rewarding feeling to, to get a soul and conquer that soul that's, that is unsaved and that is lost. So that makes sense, and um, it's honorable. Um, you yourself, you said that you're 21 years old, but you are still really young at this point. Have you, or, or have you been faced with a lot of temptations or your friends, um, that are around you? Um, are they, are they saved as well? Or do you have some unsaved friends that are still in the world? And if so, how, how do you deal with that? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, uh, it's funny when I first started doing this, um, the ones who scoffed at me the most were my church friends. Mm. Which, which was very ironic. Um, the ones that believed in me the most were my unsaved friends. I, I don't know why, how it came, but I found that easier to minister to them. And yeah, I still have some friends who are unsaved. Um, I have many Muslim friends. I have many Buddhist friends. But I don't try. I don't condemn them with, with what they believe. I should light. You know, we all have discussions and everything like that. I do. I am faced with a lot of temptation, as as you said. I am 21. And I am very young. And it seems like with ministry, it always seems to be with young men coming with young men. You know, there's always a temptation there. And if not firm in that, you know, you can easily be broken by a woman. And, you know, that's that's been Satan's plan from the beginning. You know, with Adam, you know, he, he was used to... Um, you know, break the relationship between man and God. Well, All right. Well, let's just go ahead and um, bring it to a close. Uh, I just want you to give people your contact information, your Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is. Um, let people know where they can reach uh, cool. you at. Uh, no worries. Well, uh, my Facebook, if you want to just search me on Facebook, it's d.i.s.e.i.p.l.e or www.facebook.com forward slash disciple314. Twitter, it's at Disciple314. And uh, if you guys are into SoundCloud as well, it's www.soundcloud.com forward slash Disciple underscore 314.